Hi, my name is Owen Keane. I'm the executive chef here at Bates College Dining Services. Um, I'm here to uh, do a demonstration on how to make vegan pad thai, one of our students' most uh, popular dishes. Uh, we're here at the president's house. This is her, her kitchen, which she's gladly was able to let us use today. Um, so this gives you kind of a different perspective of somewhere on campus that maybe possibly you haven't seen before. So hope you enjoy. First, we'll start with the sauce for the pad thai. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to have sugar. You want to have about a quarter of a cup of sugar. Then you got teriyaki sauce. You can add about a quarter of a cup, about the same amount of teriyaki sauce to sugar. Then we got a little bit of rice wine. Give it a little bit of tang. About a quarter cup. Now here, if you wanted to make a, a spicy pad thai, you could add some cayenne pepper, or you could add some sriracha chili paste to it, or you can add the sriracha later. And this is like our normal sauce here. And here I have some, some broccoli, some onions, and some red peppers cut up. I'm gonna be sauteing this to start the pad thai. I got some canola oil here, which is a neutral oil. You don't want to use like a 100% olive oil. You want to use something kind of like a, with a high flash point. So you want something that's going to be relatively cook hot. So canola oil will work well. Peanut oil would also work well. Sunflower oil would also work well. I'm going to turn the, the, the stove on here. You want to preheat your pan to get it pretty hot. cover. All right, so you want to let your pan get hot for a little bit. Before you drop your product in. I have pad thai noodles here, what you'll find in the store. And the package looks like this. You want to soak your noodles in uh, lukewarm water, cold water, depending on how long you, how long you have to, to soak your noodles. You want to soak your noodles for at least 30 minutes to to get the, the crunchiness out of them. You're gonna finish cooking them in the sauce with, with the stir fry. to see it kind of like sheen a little bit. That's when you feel it's getting hot. When you want to add your vegetables into it. Now I'm not using a wok, I'm using a high end pan, no high end pan. So you could use a wok, you could use your fry pan. Just want to get everything kind of cooking a little bit here. You want to hear that sizzle? Just let it cook for a minute. Now, if you're going to make like a chicken pad thai or or a uh, like shrimp pad thai or maybe a combination, you might want to you might actually want to start cooking your your meat protein first before you add your vegetables in. Then you want to add your vegetables in a little bit afterwards. So you gotta remember too that it's gonna keep cooking because you're gonna add your noodles and you're gonna add your sauce and it's gonna cook a little bit more. So if you wanna keep cooking, so like as far as like you're gonna add shrimp, you wanna let it, you don't wanna overcook the shrimp, so you wanna make sure you're adding your shrimp kind of towards the end. Whereas the chicken, you wanna cook it more so at a time.
want to have your vegetables about halfway cooked at this point. You definitely want to keep a crunch in your vegetables so they're not overcooked. Noodles into it. You want to leave a little bit of that water in there because that'll help steam the noodles. Steam your veggies a little bit. Steam that into that pot of sauce. Cooking the noodles, act the sauce, and it's actually absorbing into the noodles, and it's cooking the noodles at the same time. So the noodles actually start absorbing the sauce and the sauce kind of disappears. You still feel like your noodles aren't quite cooked enough. You can always add a little bit of water from your soaking broth into it as well. And you kind of feel the noodles start to get loose. You can see the vegetables are still cooking, so you definitely want to, don't want to overcook your vegetables. Once it's almost done, this is when you want to add your bean sprouts and your spinach, or, some, or if you got some kind of green. I'd always have add half your bean sprouts in now, and then save your other half for, for later for like a crunch factor. Spinach will cook down.
incorporate in there. A little bit of, bit of crunch factor, so a little bit of crushed peanuts, a bit of lime, a little bit of green lime on it, put that in there, a little bit of fresh scallion. If you have some cilantro, you might want to add some cilantro in there too. Like I said, some of the fresh bean sprouts on the side just to throw a little bit more crunch. Freshness. Get a little bit of peanut sauce here. Could add, this is really simple to make. Peanut sauce here that I made, it's actually just smooth peanut butter with a little bit of water thinned down just so you get the right consistency. So you just want to give it a nice drizzle. much peanut butter as you want. Uh, maybe a little bit of sriracha sauce or some chili sauce. Give it a little bit of color. And that would be a finished product, vegan pad thai.